Games of chance are a sure thing at country fairs. Grandpa's buying supper. And the Freiburg Fair is loaded with opportunities to test your luck and strength, such as it is. Go. But over in the grandstand today, it is all about skill. Lumberjack talents are on full display at Woodman's Field Day, though it might just as accurately be called Wood Women's Field Day. Oh, Freiburg Fair. I love the Freiburg Fair. Here we go. Amelia Asniv of Concord, New Hampshire, isn't about to slow her role for anyone. She's been competing professionally in timber sports for about 10 years. Like to play with axes and chainsaws and saws and have some fun. A dispatcher and EMT when she's not committing acts of war on wood. Asniv competes at fairs from Pennsylvania up to Canada, but Freiburg, the last fair of the year, is the biggie. It's just a nice big kick for the end of the year. Even the big rigs get in the game. 18-wheel hydraulic loaders place logs by size, drop a four-inch log into a six-inch pipe, and move a pail of water from one side to the other without spilling it, all against the clock. You gotta try to be smooth, but you gotta be fast too. And if you try to go too slow with the loader, it'll end up getting your water bucket moving all around, you lose most of your water. Three-time champion Albert Silver of Bryant Pond, Maine is an old hand at Freiburg. I've been coming here since I was probably five years old with my parents. So that's where it's all started. My father used to come here and compete in the Woodsman's Day. And I always wanted to do it and I started competing nine years ago. It is a theme heard over and over here at the fair where long held traditions are passed on from generation to generation, family to family, friend to friend. We've all grown up together. My parents grew up with their parents and we love coming back here every year and getting to do it all over again and just be together in our own little community. Everybody from Maine come, you know, comes to Freiburg Fair because it is Maine. But we have people from every state in the country and 17 countries around the world. So we like to think of ourselves as a very international secret. And if it wasn't for the people from out of state, you know, we couldn't have a fair like this. You can sit down to a picnic table with a total stranger and get up as a friend. So much fun. And the largest fair in Maine. Second largest in New England, behind the Biggie, which is in West Springfield, Massachusetts. That's Chronicle for tonight. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. See you back here again tomorrow night. Good night.